God, what I'm supposed to do right now, maybe our first step can be to remember what God has already done. And as we do that, we begin to discover that we are dearly loved and fully accepted. And that through Jesus, we are now reconciled with God so that we can also pursue reconciliation with other people. There is a scripture in Psalm 139. I think it was Craig Groeschel. And he said, that prayer is one of the most dangerous prayers that you can pray. I'll, I'll read it to you. Psalm 139, verse 23, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. I agree. If that prayer is asked of God genuinely and honestly and desperately, then God will give us an opportunity to see ourselves for who we really are. Not in the way that people think we are, not in the way we think we are, but God will really allow us to see anak. This is the contents of your heart. Anak, these are your motivations. Anak, this is the anger, the resentment, the bitterness, the envy that you've been harboring for the longest time. That if we pray this prayer desperately, Lord, search me, know me, test me, see if there's any offensive way in me and lead me through it. Lead me beyond it. You know, that prayer can be scary, but if we return back to the reality of the love and grace of God, if we are able to return back into knowing and, and, and being reminded that we are fully known and yet we are also fully loved, then this prayer will allow us to, to go beyond and to break through as we ask God, Lord, deal with me first.